Hi guys. Welcome to the Four Wheel TV channel. Support US by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the notification button. Thank you. As an expression of the engineering department's enthusiasm in collaboration with Rally Raid, plus a nod to Morgan's heritage, the Plus 4 CXT is a limited-run model that's impressively modern in places when it comes to the mechanical bits and pieces, but it boasts a gloriously retro execution in its look. The eight customers who have parted with their significant sum of cash will no doubt love what they've bought. Earlier this year, quintessentially British car builder Morgan proved it could do outrageous as well as any hypercar manufacturer but it did so in its own unique way when it released the CXT. The brand has a long history with time trialing, a grueling off-road sport that sees cars compete over the toughest terrain, and Morgan's historic models are famed for their impressive ability in such events. However, to create it, Morgan partnered with British firm Rally Raid and tapped into the latter's expertise when it comes to preparing off-road vehicles. So the CXT has been fitted with redesigned suspension that is expedition ready, and features modified plus six wishbones for a wider track and more articulation. They're controlled by specialist suspension dampers from XTC that the bodywork has been altered subtly, too, with the massaging of the wheel arches and the repositioning of vents on the skin. That's not to mention the huge rear racking for spare tires and pelly cases that can be strapped down for storage, while the external roll cage saves space inside. Under the skin, what sound like small alterations in repositioning the radiator and rerouting the induction system. The air filter is located in one of the leather bags mounted to the car's flanks, for example, have taken an incredible amount of work. As has the extensive underbody protection. That new intake tract feeds the same BMW sourced 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine as in the standard plus four, so there's still 255 bhp and 350 newton meters of torque on offer here. The 0 to 62 miles per hour time will be as close to the standard car's 5.2 second figure as makes no difference.